Hey, welcome to another video from BetweenCADClasses.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can add the stretch action to a dynamic block in AutoCAD. Here I have a fastener, and I want to add the ability to stretch this to different lengths. I'll begin by double-clicking on the block to open the block editor, then click OK. Next, I'm going to start on the Parameters tab, and what I want to do is add a linear parameter. That way we can use the Stretch action to stretch the value of that parameter. With the linear parameter, I'm going to click two points just like I'm placing a linear dimension. So in this example, I'll go ahead and pick here at the center of the bottom of the head, and then I will click the midpoint of the end of the fastener, then I can click to place my linear parameter. We can see that I have an exclamation point because I haven't associated an action with this parameter yet, so I will switch to my Actions tab, then choose the Stretch Action. As with most of these actions, the first step in the command line is to select the parameter I want to associate it with, so I'll click somewhere on this Distance 1 parameter. Next, I need to click which point I want to associate it with. So you can see the red X. I can either do the left side or the right side. Since I'm stretching the right side out, I will just click once I see that highlighted on the right side. Next, I'm going to specify the first corner of the stretch frame as it says in the command line. If you're familiar with the stretch command, then you know that we want to select objects to be stretched with either a crossing or a crossing polygon. So I'll begin in the upper right, then I will drag my frame over, and I will stretch the shoulder of this fastener here, so I will create a crossing like so. When you use the regular stretch command, you really just have to do the crossing once, but in the dynamic block, it's possible to specify an area, and then specify different geometry in that area to be stretched. So I'm actually asked for a second crossing. You can see the command line says, specify objects to stretch. So I'm just going to make another very similar crossing here to select my objects. I'll go ahead and press enter to finish. And then I can choose the test block in the upper left corner here to test this out. So as you can see, I now have the ability to grab that grip and stretch this to different lengths. So since it's working okay, I can go ahead and close my test block, save my block, and close it. And then once more out here in the drawing, I can now see that work correctly. In summary, we can add the stretch action to a dynamic block by adding the linear parameter, and then the stretch action, and then select the geometry to be stretched with a crossing. That concludes this look at adding the stretch action to a dynamic block in AutoCAD. Please like this video if you found it helpful. And if you would like to find more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel or stop by my website betweencadclasses.com. Thanks for watching.